Hey guys, Ashuri here, welcome back. In this video, I wanted to quickly show you how strong really are Extreme Erratic Zenkai Awaken at level 7 and Extreme Nappa Zenkai Awaken at level 7. Now, these two, I've just upgraded them to maximum in this weekend and uh, yeah, it was a long grind. I mean, the farming, it's so, so long. You have to farm for a lot of souls, Zenkai souls and the best time to do that is of course in the weekend because in the weekend right now, in this point of the game, we have some bonuses and if we play that bonus missions, then we get extra souls. That are pretty, those are pretty useful because you need tons and tons of resources. Now let's take them one by one. So Razik, yeah, it was it's it's pretty old. It's not so new like Napa. Napa was just introduced, and um, yeah, has some nice abilities there. After you Zenkai awaken him, and if you get him to maximum level, that he gets access to two more abilities, which are pretty good. Are let's say useful. But remember, guys, this is an extreme unit. It's not a uh, sparking, and it's not that good. It's good, but it's not that good. But if you pair. Razik with Nappa, the newest introduced extreme Zenka unit, then yeah, probably this team, these two guys are making a good team. And if you stay a little bit longer here, you're about to see in a PvP match. But okay, let's talk about Nappa. So yeah, you know, this Nappa event was just introduced. You need to farm a lot of Zenkai souls in order to maximum upgrade Nappa. Now, the good part is, is if you bring Nappa to rank 7, to Zenkai 7, then you will gain some crystals along the way because there are some missions and if you bring him to maximum, then you can gain a total 1000 uh, Chrono Crystals from this event. That's pretty good, right? But yeah, in order to maximum upgrade him, then you need to use, uh, again, tons and tons of resources, Zenkai souls, normal souls. And I recommend you guys to try to uh, do this in the weekend. If you are missing Zenkai souls, there is a good place to get them. And this place is from the exchange shop. You can use the Rush exchange shop or the Gold Coin exchange shop and you can buy the necessary souls. Now, if this is really worthy and these guys will break the meta, I can tell you from the start, definitely not. But this doesn't mean that we can have some fun with them. So I'm going to use them in missions and stuff like that and also in a PvP. Now, what other best team member I would choose with these two guys? So we have Radzig and we have Nappa. Of course, the logical way is to use Vegeta. You know, the, make the original sign invasion with Vegeta and I have Vegeta just at Zenkai 1 because this guy is not free to play, we have to spend crystals on it and I don't see now the point. I know he's strong but it's not that strong, it's not what I want. Nevertheless, for this video and to have some fun with them, I've upgraded him to Zenkai 1, maximum so boosted as much as I can. And yeah, let's pair him with Nappa and Radzik, these two guys are at maximum and let's see how this goes in PvP. Alright, now this is looking like a very good test. We have a normal future team, nothing fancy, not so many stars there in the fighters. So yeah, it's probably a very good test from the, for the original Saiyan team. Now, I'm just going to select them all and until we start, I want to tell you a few details. So, Nappa here has sustained damage cut. So if we get caught by damage, by some long combo or something, then yeah, Nappa will be the one that gets the damage. If he dies, then uh, two times he will heal Vegeta because he has an unique ability. If not by skill, then he will get a small portion of his health back. This is one thing. And the other thing is that to restore key, we need to use main abilities. But yeah, let's focus and see <clears throat> how this goes. That's a good start. Good. Thank you. I should use a green card now. I have so many green cards and nothing to do with them because I don't have cards there. And now this is exactly in the scenario I was telling you about. When something happens, just bring Nappa. Now it's good because he's using trunks and we don't get that, ma da that much damage. We have color advantage there. Perfect. Now if you have this chance anytime, so if you are playing PvP and have this chance to just use a rising rush on a pretty powerful opponent then take it don't waste time don't do nothing just take the opportunity because yeah just one rising rush can save a match and if you miss the rising rush then it's bad so with that being said now this match it's a lot more interesting okay let's draw another strike card it's something that i wanted to mention when you use the main ability with napa he will draw another card and that's pretty awesome he has time to dodge now but luckily he didn't 
I was not fast enough there to use my boot. Just, just, yeah, do that and do that. Did he use something now? But we have Napa there. So let's just bring Napa in and take this unnecessary damage. And now he uses his vanishing. So every hit from Napa will definitely hurt him. Ooh, good block. Very good block. Block. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I will give you that. No problem. Now I don't want you to take away my key. I need my key. Okay. So two down. One to go. Let's bring another fighter. Good. Now this is nice. This is nice now. We can restore some of the missing key back. And if we use that green card, we have another blast attack. And in case you guys don't know, Razik, it's a blast. Uh, use this blast attack to inflict most of his damage. So that's perfect. And now just bring Napa in. Okay, these trunks will heal a little bit, not too much. Good. If I had one more card here, it will be enough to finish him. Okay, let's take this. So we'll take this like a man. It's trunks, very angry against Napa with a rising rush. And I didn't guess his card, okay? Let's see. Yeah, I think he will kill Napa. Yeah, okay, GG. That's nice. Yeah, but this match it's over, so yeah, Silent Team is pretty good. It's funny, it's fun to play with, but yeah, it's definitely not a Z tier team. So if you're fighting against uh you know very optimal or Z tier teams like hybrids or future or fusion warrior, then uh yeah then it's not so fun anymore but up to some rank then yeah definitely you can use this team and it's almost free to play all right these were the science returning to dragon ball legends now before we close this video i want to be honest with you guys to upgrade Razik and napa it will cost a lot of energy a lot of skip tickets zenkai souls and normal souls and at the end of the day you will have two great zenkai awaken extreme units but with these guys you will not break the meta you have interesting results fun results perhaps but for sure on the long run they will not break the meta okay and with that being said this is Arsh Fury thank you for being here with me and I hope to see you soon take care bye